All right, I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of what a masonry job site looks like at the end of a week. So we have been cutting thin brick down. Um, at first we were using a 14 inch brick saw, which is why you basically have this red lake. It's all water that was coming off the hundreds well, I guess we cut probably around 1,700, 1,800 brick this week. So we were originally using the 14 inch table saw, wet saw to cut the brick down. The brick were taking like a ridiculous amount of time. It was um, somewhere around like a minute and a half per brick. And then by the time you switched out the water, you switched out uh, the brick, you restocked, all that type of stuff. Um, we were getting like 80 cuts out of a saw a day and it was, I mean, it's just, it's not, it doesn't work. It's not very economical. So I made this jig, as you can see, it's got some use. Sorry, sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Um, we made this jig so you could just take a 14 inch concrete saw and just rip down a line of thin brake. And with being able to load those up and cut them, it went from like a minute and a half a brick to maybe 30 seconds, 20 seconds. So these are all the cuts um, from the brick. These brick are, these are the backside of them. They're pretty, uh, for some reason, they have a line through all of them. So sometimes you can use both sides of the brick when you cut them down. I don't know that we'll do that for this but in case we use them for something, they're here. Like I said, there's about 1,700 brick we cut this week. So this is stucco mortar left from the stucco crew. Old scaffold rig. This is about as like old school as you get, nice and rusted out. This is your cement mixer. This is where you mix the mortar when you're doing um, full-size brick. You don't really need one of these guys if you're doing thin brick because you're either using thin set or you're using so little mortar that you don't really need to make a ton at the same time. But when you're doing full-size brick, you go through a bag of this stuff every 40 brick. So uh, yeah, you usually need at least like two bags an hour if you're really laying brick as a brick mason. So you got your mortar pallets here. Those are brick tongs. That's what you carry the brick with and carry. These are engineer bricks. So they're a little bit uh, thicker. Normally they're two and a quarter, they're two and three quarters, but I can carry nine with those at a time. So that kind of speeds up the time. This is the wall we've been working on this week. Almost got it topped out. Um, these are all the cubes of brick for the brick on this house usually four to 500, 600 that comes in each cube. These are angle irons right here. These are what go over the doors, windows, garage. It's what holds the brick up. Um, and then here is our little wall of gold. This represents two weeks worth of work, cutting down brick into thin brick on site. And then you have your corners. These cuts, you kind of can only do them with a table saw and they're still very tricky. Um, but they probably, these things take at least five minutes a piece, which is crazy. So you got 130 of those right here. There's more of the cut brick. And then, yep, yeah, then we have it scaffolded out, ready to go tomorrow. Monday, it's Friday here. Monday, I'll be up here painting a WCI Latta Creek coat of waterproofing. And then that top gable is going to be thin brick, which is why we cut all of these. Originally, this house was designed to have all thin brick, but the plant, making the brick that we had chosen um, went down 
and we weren't gonna have brick until January. It's currently August 16th, 2024. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to walk through what like a masonry job site typically looks like. Um, it's a little trashy, to be honest. Uh, try and keep it picked up. We had a guy just picking up behind the masons today, but it's a messy craft for sure. Uh, if you if you like me doing these type of tutorials of the job sites and stuff, just uh, comment down below and I will do more of them. <laughs>